Today, we're gonna check out the new episode for The Apothecary Diaries. But before we do, if you enjoy the video, maybe you wanna like and comment for the YouTube algorithm. Maybe you wanna to subscribe to the channel so you can check out more reactions for this series and others. Tons of anime. I'm watching tons of anime. And you can find the full length as well as exclusives over on Patreon. Plus, you can watch along live with us on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Joe Fresh. This link for that is down in the description. Stop by on Saturdays. It's the last thing I watch on stream. If you stop by during the stream, you're going to end up catching this one, unless somehow you show up in the last like 40 minutes. But if you show up during the first, I don't know, two and a half hours, you'll probably catch the end and you'll probably be able to watch this with us, okay? Hmm. And now the backstory for how she was born. I wonder if he knows that she is Lakan's daughter. Oh, wait. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He do look kind of different. I'm not going to lie. Yo, he's not going in there to fuck, is he? Yo! Damn, her memory is good as shit. She remembers something from being a baby? No wonder she's so smart. That's crazy, she got a good memory. I wish I had a good memory. She's gonna find out everything. Damn! She doesn't even sound like she's yelling at her. The courtesan doesn't even sound like she's yelling at the old lady. Oh! What a for? What a fuck? Who is that customer? No way Lakan's here, right? Oh, she got a venereal disease. Is that is syphilis a venereal disease? Every time I say that word, venereal disease, do you know what I think of? Does it, I feel like so, at least one person's got to know in chat what I think of every time I say venereal disease. I feel like none of you do. Anyone, anyone want to take a guess? We don't think like you? True. I think like a menstrual, I bleed through the pencil and leak on the tablet in my mind because I don't write shit because I ain't got time because my seconds, minutes, hours. That's what I think of. A Millie. Lil Wayne. No one would have thought of that? If the one person that came in here talking about Kendrick Lamar was here, he would have known. He, maybe, potentially. If he was old enough to know about the days of Lil Wayne. Oh. oh, fuck. So they didn't tell him about it, so he couldn't help her. She's not really humming, huh? Oh, they know. They know that's her daddy. Oh, shit. And she knows about the weirdo with the monocle, too. She knows about Lakan. What's she doing? She's playing a game? What's going on here? Does she know that that's her mama? I don't even know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what she knows. I'm trying to figure it out. She's playing Go? She needs to go and get a friend to play with. What a fucking asshole. You're getting that offer again? What offer? Bro. If Lakan does this shit to her too, it's hands. It's fucking hands if Lakan does this shit to her too. There's no way, right? Dude, that would be so fucked. But it feels like they might go that route. It really feels like they might do that shit. This guy's such a fucking dickhead. More than, a, more than a dickhead, he's a piece of shit. I think that that's better. He plays Go with them. 
Oh, and that's why the mama plays go. Wait, 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 what the fuck? That's an emotion I'm sure I left behind in the womb of the woman who birthed me. Does she, ah, dude, I wonder if she knows. I don't think she knows. What's she scrubbing her back with? Them things? Well, y'all said this episode had plot, bro. They ain't even giving it to us. Bro, they covered up the plot for this shit more than uh than Metallic Rouge. I got three episodes into that shit and I still didn't know what was happening. Just covered up the entire plot. I don't know what the fuck was going on. Same thing here. Just covering the plot. Why? Does he know though? Free the plot. Ha yeah, hashtag free the plot, bro. Apothecary. Interesting that he referred to it that way. It's a souvenir from a weirdo. Oh, nah. Bro, I'm telling you, did he meet with with Papa? Not fucking Lacan. I'm talking about Papa Papa. I think so. Is that why he calls it? He might call him a weirdo. I have so many questions right now, bro. It's crazy. Bro, you're not even. Oh my gosh. She don't even know. <laughs> this is this she feels right at home here, dude. Oh yeah, Lakan did give him some shit after the last See, I'm telling you my memory, bro. I don't remember these things. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So Lakan gave him the thing because he solved the the case of the three brothers. That's what you mean, the alcohol from the case. Of, okay, okay. That makes sense. Medicine. <laughs> uh. Who's that? Oh, that's the attendee of the... Uh. That's the kind of cute attendee, right? The one for the... There's some real sussery going on, dude. I wonder why she. Yeah, dude, I'm, I'm I'm wondering the same thing. What the fuck is happening right now? Court lady shouldn't be doing this. Doing what? I feel so lost. They mentioned Sui Ren before. I heard that name, Sui Ren. Classic Joe. Fuck you guys. All right, hold on. All right, we're at 15:05. Do you have a moment? Oh, here we go. Share this with Sui Ren. It's a souvenir from a weirdo. So he wanted her to share the alcohol with that lady. So I was thinking, but why didn't, why'd she share it with, I don't know. Wait, the old lady's name is Shwiwen? Wait, why the fuck would they, that, the, the dude just called her Shwiwen. Oh, Sui Ray. Fuck, dude. It's off by one letter. Okay, my bad. Her name is Sui Ray. And the other one's Sui Ren. Right? Am I tripping? I'm just trying to understand things, all right? I miss shit sometimes, bro. Sometimes I miss shit, okay? A lot of similar names in the show. I'm saying, dude, it's fucking confusing. Oh, maybe she's finally realizing some shit here. The lack of hair is messing with your head. I don't like this. The name was close. Purification ceremony. Oh my God. Can you realize he's the noble? He's the one that delivered me. <laughs> Fucking bitch. <laughs> Yo, I look at Jinchi's face, bro. Jinchi's like, this motherfucker's here again. I don't want to hear that from a thief. Oh, Lakan's been trying to get his daughter, and then he, Jinshi, just buys her to work for him. 
And she don't even know! Someone as high up as you- Oh my god, dude. This is getting good, dude! This is getting fucking good! This show is so good! He does know who I really am. Oh, even he. My daughter. Oh. You fucking dickhead. He's a piece of shit. What a fucking piece of shit. What? No. You better not visit her. Bro, she needs to marry Jinchi or something, bro. We gotta keep this fucking asshole away. Wait, when did he start calling her apothecary, bro? For the longest time, he called her Mau Mau or Xiao Mao or... Did he always call her apothecary? He did? He always called her apothecary? Really? Really? Oh! 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 oh. Whoa! What is that? Oh my god! <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Does she know? <sighs> she knows! Hey, oh, you better put that shit down. What is she doing with that little mini scythe? You better put that shit down. What are you doing? Hey, oh, chill. Shut the fuck out. A medicine to resurrect someone. Wait, wait, wait. They... Oh, I was gonna say, wait, what the fuck? When did this turn into- Up to this point, I'm like, this is like a normal world thing, right? And she's like, resurrect someone. Oh, wait, this is a fantasy series? Next thing we know is somebody's gonna start doing magic. We're gonna find out Aoi Yuki actually used to be in a different world. She got hit by a fucking truck and now she's here. But no, okay. Some morning glories. Why? What's a morning glory? What, what can that do? There's a reason she told her that. Can I just say, if anyone went off this episode, Kevin Pinkin went off. The feelings. You feel the right way from all of the music in this episode. I bet that was a Kevin Pinkin thing. Kevin Pinkin went off this episode. I feel so uncomfortable this one in this episode. Everything is You fucking bitch. You fucking stupid bitch. What a fucking great episode. This episode was great. Confirmation. Her mama is the one lady, you know, who's who's got the stuff. Oh, angry Mau Mau in the thumbnail for sure. Angry Mau Mau, okay? Mau, okay, so you distracted me. You distracted the fuck out of me. Okay. Oh yeah. Lakan's her father. She already knew that Lakan was her father. What the fuck is a morning glory? That's true. A morning glory flower has to have either a meaning or it can be used in this thing, whatever that thing is. What if the person that we don't really see all that well, that like does these things in these bars and stuff, what if that's Sui Ray? We don't really see him. Did we see an Adam's apple on, on Sui Ray, on the, on the person I mean? that's been doing the shit. Maybe she she cosplays as a man. She dresses up as a man and then, let me cook, let me cook, let me cook. What if she does that and it's her and she's the one that's killing people because she wants to kill the nobles because I don't know why, but there's a reason. Maybe, maybe I'm onto something here. According to Wikipedia, uh, I don't I don't know. I want to just find out when they tell us. You know, I don't want to know for sure yet. They'll tell us why. And she has that fl the flash 
of stuff with with her with her um she has the flash her mom about to stab her there's some wild shit going on here dude i'm telling you this show hey you remember how i said this was in my top 10 i think i had it at six right dangers in my heart solo leveling free rin oh and delicious in dungeon i think i'm putting apothecary in the in that five i think ishida bumps down to six apothecary enters a five and it's a five-way tie now this episode in particular so good just they confirm it and i think more than confirming it when you see the way that she reacts in that moment it's insane the way that she reacts you see her like the eyes dude this is a wild episode this is a wild show there's a lot of mystery here it's so intriguing and i can't wait to find out more i want to learn more about Mau Mau in her past and and how her past oh and she knows every time bro, every time she said oh I'm not noble birth I'm not ba -da 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 -da. she is she is and she knows she is too she knows I didn't even put that together until just now she's known all along I don't know man it's a good ass episode I can say that much Anyways, with all that said, I want to know what you all thought about this. Her mom was a courtesan, but is she a noble? I mean, her dad, her daddy with the monocle. I'm just saying, she got the blood in her, bro. I don't think monocle is necessary noble status either. He's something. There's there's military prowess, you know? I don't know. She's a strategist. Uh, she's she's more relevant than she lets on, and she knows it. I, can we say that much? She's more relevant than she lets on, and she knows it. As always, if you enjoyed the video, maybe you want to like and comment, you know, tell other people that I have these reactions to the series, you know, it's a really good one. It's a really good series. And maybe you want to subscribe as well, just because you like the content, but probably most of you are subscribed if you're at this point in the video. Till next time, make sure you all keep it fresh. Peace.